Good day and welcome to the Moraleta Park Integration Project, Spatial Agency through Co-Design. I am Jacques de Clark, de Clark and I fall into the Group B of the ISF Honors Group. Color coding was used to demarcate the involvements. Now for the introduction. Our group focused was on skill development and me focusing specifically on waste management. We broke up into smaller groups and then again into individual projects. My engagement process was spanning from phase four to phase seven. The ISF group developed weekly outline for the process of co-design. Here's a recap of our co-developed brief. With that, we can commence into the second part of the phase four research. It's a brief overview of our weekly timeline. Our smaller group look at how we could integrate our projects. Theoretical considerations were co-design and co-creation, but a pedagogical application, critical regionalism, and also listed we also listed our success factors specifically following a practical approach. I specifically focused on waste management and through stakeholder engagement generated ideas under identifying opportunity, conceptual approach, limitations, and considerations. They were concluded that the important factors in the interventions were a waste management system operation, the structure of the intervention, and sustainability. An implementation timeline was created for now, a CPD, a JCP a workshop, soon a waste management center, and later a sustainable integrated waste management throughout the city. Further, we looked at possible integration with other projects. The next phase of the, of the research followed the co-evaluation of primary ideas and first revision. Here's a brief overview of a weekly timeline. The ISF group members presented and discussed proposals and precedents to stakeholders through Google Meet and then reworked them. Our project aims were set out and I analyzed precedents based on description, their relevance and how they informed the initiatives. Waste management of primary ideas were for now the initiative would be within the ability and budget of the collaborating of the JCP program. This program aims to develop an awareness of personal, social, and cultural values, as well as multidisciplinary life skills. And the focus would be to develop an elementary style booklet on waste management training and building waste management prototypes and waste corners. The booklet and workshop we also provide following information on waste management information prototype templates and waste corners. The soon intervention would be a center that makes provision for storage, maker space, prototype testing, training, information hub and organizational space. The next phase of co-design um, development is a brief timeline. I'll co -develop our designs I could develop designs through Google Meet with Jackie Boota and then further develop them with input of stakeholders. Here's a visual representation of the integration of our projects. We created a workshop program template as our workshops would run in parallel to each other and a modular flame system for building the spaces. I started looking at what a workshop would involve, like the events before the workshop, the workshop program and post the workshop. And what content a booklet should include, like why waste manage, organ, organic waste and non-organic waste. A soon intervention would include a multifunctional center well, that's champion managed and these will, uh, would be identified at the workshops of the JCP students and a collaborative workshop and that is co-generated um, with skills development. I analyzed the studio president for construction of the center. It is an open structure created for users to appropriate as they like. The development of the multifunctional center um, developed through spatial exploration of collaborating and workshop facility prototype training center and storage and information area. The next phase was the revision of designs, a brief overview of the timeline. I had multiple engagements with small and other ISF group members and stakeholders on Google Meet and Mural to discuss the layouts of design projects. The stakeholders gave valuable input to design and implementation of these projects. The JCP workshop, we identified that these spaces for the JCP workshop to be held looked at local materials to analyze them for, to be used. The prototypes were developed for the, for the workshop. For the soon, 
We focused on the Waste Management Center on collaborating with a violation BDC that would be beneficial. They are a waste management and recycling organization. Their pur proposal to the city of Tuane is to have many buyback centers across the Victoria that waste recyclers can be trained at and they can sort waste to make a living. The key objectives are the creation of empowerment um, individuals, adding value to wasteful products, supporting waste management systems, and making them financially viable. The facilities at the centre would include recycling lockable facilities, offices, storage and sorting area, as well as drop-off and collection zones. The cemetery entrance would serve as site for the centre. The local materials were analysed for the appropriation of the centre. Is to build a frame and a structure and certain elements and through co-generation of the walls and, and shell, the building would then be co-generated and appropriate by the community. The output of the process for Nasser and later would be finished a CPD brief that was finalized and would be sent to the University of Pretoria, a program to help guide the JCP students. The centre I propose would serve as one of the one of these buyback centers for for pollution BBC that can also be used as a template for other waste management centers across the city of Tuana. The Moroleta Park Waste Management Center would serve as a special agent to be a place where the community can learn about waste management and also go to, to recycle their waste. It would serve to add add value to waste by doing so, creating livelihood and opportunities for better waste management. The aim of the space the waste ma is to create a space where ma waste management can be activated and become part of the community fabric. By the bigger cities undertaking such initiatives and more buyback buy recycling and processing centers would emerge throughout the city, which would result in the waste management not being an afterthought, but it would become part of the fabric. The co design pro process followed showed that when the designer becomes more of a facilitator in the process, of this, in the, process the designer uses a gap become smaller and it would result into a more integrated design. The authorship was given over for the now initiatives, but when designing an industry specific building, the process of ideas would still be co-developed, but experts in the industry would need to be included, that would, but, that, but that could also be another part of co-design.